it's looking like it's another electric crowd here in Royal LePage Place. Good evening from West Kelowna. My name is Chase Johnston, the voice of the West Kelowna Warriors. You're listening and you're watching to West Kelowna Warriors Playoff Hockey, presented to you by our friends at London Drugs. And we are featured tonight once again on the Shaw Spotlight Channel, Hockey TV, and the BCHL Warriors free radio internet feed. And as Lego hustles back into his own zone, the line of Defoe, Crystal, and Evans on the ice. It's a line the Warriors need to rely on here. John Evans now in. Evans, he shoots, he scores. Three minutes, 52 seconds into the game. The Warriors draw first blood. It's 1-0. There's that first goal, Chase. What a wonderful shot by Mr. Evans through the, through the legs of the, his opponent. And I don't know if the Vipers goalie saw all of that. What a wonderful shot. To a, I think it was more of a tip, intended to tip it in, but he went for a tip and it was like a pass afterwards. Charles Alexis Ago with a big crunch of a hit on Regan Milburn. And Farmer out there. Face-off win for the Warriors. Farmer, he has an opening, fires. And we have a penalty coming up here, and is it on the Warriors? It's, oh, he's got a look, fires, and just the right amount of sticks got in the way of that one. Play continues inside the Warriors zone, though. Zackle at the point. Right side corner, there's Milburn. He scores! Back to Legault. They'll give and go plays. Legault trying to get a step around Nick Kent. Charles will have to go back around, wrap around, save made. And is it loose? It's covered up by Rowan Clark. What a play by Charles Alexis Legault. And the puck will now go the other way for John Evans. Delayed penalty coming up on the Vipers. Crystal right side circle. Crystal a shot off the post. And we see a light on. We see the spotlight on. I think it went right off the post and right back. <laughs> right back to him. Joining this power play unit will play it down low for Jugnoth. Jugnoth inside. Cross ice feed. Crystal waits. Crystal. He shoots. He scores. TC 20 on the power play has restored the lead for the West Florida Warriors. It's 2 1. Well, he saw an opportunity on the last shot. Goes right back there again. Brennan Nelson now. Backhand pass. He finds his man, there's jogging, going to the net, with Rukanakis, where is the puck? And it just deflects high and wide of the net. Attacking zone faceoff, won by the Warriors. Zach Rhyme. Jogging, back over to Rukanakis. Nelson, playing it back to Zach Rhyme. D to D pass. Dylan Brooks, fires, scores! Marcus jogging on the tip. And that's just what the doctor ordered for the start for period number two. Warriors have a 3-1 lead. Charles Alexis Lego now deep into play. He wires a slapper blocked by the Riverman. Evans to the left side, Ruben. Ruben a blast, save made, rebound loose. Oh, they got a quick whistle. And Tyler Crystal chased a foe, they can't believe it. Bus up top to Zackel. Zackel a blast, whoa, that went off a body and just wide. There's the pass down low, what a save made by Johnny Derrick, wow. Johnny Derrick, wow, slides across, makes that pad save. Big win there for Jojo Tanaka Campbell, but they cannot clear. Joggin, he's there to hold it in. Marcus Joggin, pass over, Rukanakis, he shoots, he scores! The Greek freak has extended the lead for the West Kelowna Warriors, it's four to one. Just hard work by Marcus Joggin on the half wall. I, I don't understand why they stopped checking him, but they did, which allowed him to get the puck to Rukanakis, and he knew what to do with it. Play resumes now. John Evans has a look. John Evans! Oh, that one went right off the glove of Rowan Clark. Tyler Crystal trying to hustle to the puck here. He gets it away from Nick Kent. Drop pass. Chased a foe. He fires a blast. Save made. Rebound. Backhand try goes wide. All oh, the Warriors are buzzing now. Puck goes back as Defoe tries to get a stick on it. Vipers two on one for me now. Cam McDonald going the other way. McDonald in. He rifles the puck high and wide. And crashing the net are the Vipers. Johnny Derrick is hurt. Johnny Derrick is hurt. Going back the other way is John Evans. And off the blocker of Rowan Clark. Shawstack trying to clear. He's just going to give it to Luke Buss, and then Buss gets absolutely run over and then some by Charles Alexis Legault. They re-enter the Vernon end. Evans up top, Jugnoff has a look, passes it over the left side. Joggin 
Shot, save made by Rowan Clark. Play resumes inside the Vernon zone as the Warriors get set up once again on this first choice air cutter power play. Halfway expired. Jugnoff, Joggin, right side, Lego, save made, rebound loose, they score! For TC20 on the power play. And the Warriors putting a stranglehold on this one. It's 5 1. Warriors' fifth goal, a power play goal. His second tonight in the second of the playoffs. Scored by number 20, Tyler Crystal. Inside, trying to get the puck past a body here is. Tanaka Campbell, McDonald holds it in. Diagonal pass at the point. Far, short by the shot, they score! It's Reagan Milburn. We got ourselves a hockey game here in Royal LePage Place. The lead is cut to two. 23 seconds remaining in the power play. Shostak back over for Cohen. Luke Pakalak blocked fearlessly by Marcus Joggin. Play continues. Nick Kent again surveying around. One time drive blocked again by Zach Ryman. The puck will exit the zone. Fresh penalty killers on the ice. And he will. Milburn plays it back to Zach. We'll back over to Regan Milburn. Looking for the hat trick as Milburn. He'll fire. Save made by Johnny Derrick. Play resumes now. Eight seconds to go. Another shot blocked by big rig Nick Rukanakis. That's going to do it. The Warriors win game two. <laughs> and immediately it almost seemed like the officials knew what was going to happen at the end of this game. Yeah, they signaling to get the Vipers off the ice. And the season series tied up at one apiece as we head to Vernon Monday night. This is a statement win for the Warriors.